Hello and welcome to your first notes video for world cultures. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna like briefly explain some of the aspects of world culture, world cultures that we're going to be talking about this week. Um, hopefully, very briefly, and then we'll be done. So, what is culture? Some of you, um, I was reading your Google form responses. You're not even sure what culture is. So. Culture is commonly defined as the way of life for a group of people and includes customs, traditions, language, social patterns, arts and literature, religion, forms of government, economy, everything that goes into how people are living in a society, basically. Um, so all of these things combined together makes up culture. Um, and culture helps us decide how we should act. And we'll talk more about that in the next slide. Um, but basically there are two types of culture that we're going to be looking at. Um, there's material culture and non-material culture. Material culture is physical objects that people create and use in a society um, like pots and pans or um, cell phones or tapestries, things like that, physical things that you can actually hold. Non-material culture are abstract human creations. So our symbols that we have, our language that we've created, the values that we hold in our society, the norms that we've created to adhere to. Those are all things that are non-material culture. So like throwing a peace sign means like peace or like, hey, in America, but it might mean something else in a different country. Norms um, is what I was talking about in the previous slide that I was going to get to. So some of the most important elements of a culture are the rules on how to behave, and that's what norms are. So norms are cultural rules in society that are commonly practiced or believed. It's like the status quo of the society. So there's four different types of norms. We have folkways, mores, laws, and taboos. Um, so folkways are basically your traditional um, behaviors that you're um, acting on or way of life in a particular community or group. Um, and these are like everyday habits and behaviors. So like being polite over being rude. So like in our society, um, saying please and thank you is appreciated, right? That's a folk way that we have. Um, if people don't say please and thank you, then we think they're a rude person. Mores are um, a little bit stricter, so that they'll get more and more strict as we go down the list. So mores are social norms that determine what is acceptable and unacceptable in a group of people. And this is more like ethical behavior than um, just everyday habits like folkways are. So mores, um, an example of this would be some people think that you should wait until marriage to um, have sex. That is a more because it is a moral um, behavior, right? So that's what mores are, basically moral compass of a society. Laws are, I'm sure you're all aware, um, a system of rules that are enforced and regulated um, by the government of a society. Um, and usually they are put in place in order to keep people from harming each other, um, to keep people, their citizens safe, right? Um, so like, you can't go up and stab someone <laughs> without getting in trouble with the law. Taboos um, are, so these are social or religious customs um, prohibiting or forbidding discussion of a particular practice or custom. Um, and usually if someone commits a taboo act, they will be ostracized from society for forever. Um, so an example of this would be like, um, you guys all know of Jeffrey Dahmer, the serial killer, and he used to, you know, eat 
some of his victims. So that is a taboo. Um, cannibalism is a taboo. Things like serial killing is a taboo. Anything that is like just viewed totally unacceptable by society. Pedophilia, another taboo. Um, so if you commit a taboo act, you will be ostracized from the community that you're in. And here is my last slide. Um, so most people prefer their own culture over other cultures because it's familiar to them. Um, and our customs become so natural to us that we hold them as the standard of how things should be. So it's really hard to go into another culture um, and accept it how it is because how we do things is differently than how other people do things. And this leads sometimes to ethnocentrism, um, which is basically that we evaluate other cultures based on our preconceptions um, from our own culture. So during this class, we want to kind of try to avoid ethnocentrism and judging other cultures based on what we do in the American culture, because the other cultures we're going to be looking at are very different from how our societies run. Um, so ethnocentrism can eventually turn into racism um, in certain situations. So the belief that one racial group is naturally superior to another, um, this is where, you know, like Great Britain and America got into a lot of trouble in like the 1800s and 1900s when we were um, taking over a lot of territory that was not ours. So making sure we keep um, not having an ethnocentric viewpoint while we're studying different cultures will be A+. Plus. Um, and then, so instead of using ethnocentrism while we are studying world cultures, we want to use cultural relativism, which is the idea that um, we should believe other people's beliefs and values and things like that um, based on the person's own culture rather than judging them off the criteria of another culture. So we want to look at it from the mindset of someone in that culture instead of from our culture. Um, and that's it for this notes video. Um, making sure we're keeping cultural relativ relativism and not an ethnocentric viewpoint. Um, we will be practicing the different norms. So if you did not understand those very clearly, don't worry about it because we will be practicing in class. Um, I will see you next time in the next notes video. Have a lovely day.